The Romans pulled off a heating trick so bold, so efficient, that it still stuns engineers today. A system that kept homes warm without burning a single scrap of fuel inside the living space. It was clean, quiet, and centuries ahead of its time. And if you want more forgotten survival hacks like this, hit that subscribe button on the Prepper's Survival Blueprint channel. You won't want to miss what's coming next. Let's step into the ashes of a civilization that refused to freeze and discover how their fuel-free heater may just help modern preppers beat the cold when the grid goes dark. The hook begins with a simple truth. The Romans weren't just warriors. They were world-class engineers determined to bend the environment to their will. While other ancient societies stacked firewood until the forest thinned, Rome pioneered a heating system so advanced that even modern radiant floors owe them a debt. They called it the Hippocaust, a word that means heat from below. But don't let the elegant name fool you. This wasn't some clunky stone fireplace or smoky fire pit. This was a technical masterpiece, a full-body warmth machine, a stealth heater for the ancient world. And here's what made it revolutionary. The fire never touched the room. At the heart of the system was a small furnace tucked away in a separate chamber, often beneath the home or next to a bathhouse. Wood or charcoal burned there safely outside the living area, and the heat was funneled under the floors. Now, this is the part that Roman engineers absolutely nailed. They raised the floor on hundreds of small pillars called pilae, creating a network of hollow spaces where hot air and smoke could flow freely. Think of it as the first true central heating system, only without a single electric fan or pump. Hot air moved naturally, smoke escaped through flues built into the walls, and the entire floor became a giant, radiant heating panel. That's right, the Romans invented radiant floor heating 2,000 years before modern plumbers started bragging about it. The genius wasn't in burning fuel. That part was normal. The genius was in moving the heat. The furnace blasted warmth into the hollow underfloor chamber. The rising heat spread evenly, warming the tiles from below until the entire floor radiated a soft, even heat upward. No drafts, no smoke, no open flames licking the ceiling. Just pure, steady warmth. The smoke was then pulled upward through terracotta flue pipes hidden inside the walls. These pipes carried heat through the structure warming the walls themselves before the smoke finally drifted out the roof. This wasn't just heating. It was insulation, convection, and radiant energy in perfect harmony. For the Romans, stepping inside a hippocaust heated room felt like luxury. For us today, it feels like technology we should have never forgotten. Most ancient homes depended on open fires that filled rooms with soot and smoke. But not Roman homes, not Roman bathhouses. Their heat came from below, filtered through stone and tile. No creosote build-up, no lung-scorching smoke, no fire hazards in the living space. For a pre-industrial civilization, this was shocking. It was one of the earliest examples of environmental engineering. And here's the kicker. 
This system required no fuel inside the home. The living space stayed clean and safe while the furnace did its work elsewhere, a feature modern preppers will immediately appreciate. Today's radiant heating systems, the ones that run warm water through pipes under your floor, operate on the same principle. Even modern forced air heating owes something to Rome's understanding of airflow and convection. But here's the part survivalists should pay attention to. Hypocaust style heating can work with wood, charcoal, solar assisted furnaces, or even geothermal vents. It doesn't need electricity, it doesn't require fancy pumps and once built, it holds heat for hours. For off-grid living or emergency bunkers, that's a huge advantage. Absolutely, but with a few modern twists. A hypercost requires space beneath the floor and well-sealed vents. Modern homes aren't designed with stone pillars underfoot. But off-grid cabins, homestead bathhouses, and earth shelters could easily adapt the principle. Imagine a prepper stronghold with a subfloor chamber heated by a small external wood furnace. The warmth rises, the floors stay toasty, and no smoke enters the living space. It's sustainable, it's safe, and it's proven. Not by a laboratory, but by thousands of Roman homes still standing with the system intact. For winter survival, that's a game-changer. We live in an era of energy insecurity. Fuel prices spike, power grids wobble, winters grow harsher. And yet the Romans solved a piece of this puzzle with bricks, tiles, and airflow. Their solution wasn't high-tech. It wasn't digital. It didn't depend on a fragile grid. It was raw engineering brilliance. And that's why preppers, the modern guardians of practical resilience, should study it. Because it's a reminder that survival isn't always about invention. Sometimes it's about rediscovery. The Romans didn't set out to build eternal technology. They simply wanted warm homes and reliable bathhouses. But what they created was timeless, a heating system so effective that archaeologists still marvel at it and engineers still borrow from it. Their hippocaust wasn't magic. It wasn't a myth. It was the moment when ancient ingenuity outran its era. And today, it still has something to teach us. If you're fascinated by real survival technology, the kind that stood the test of centuries, then this Roman heat hack is just the beginning. There are dozens of ancient systems just waiting to be rediscovered, re-engineered, and put back to work for off-grid living. And if this episode sparked new ideas for your own homestead or bunker, share it with someone who's building their survival playbook. And make sure you subscribe to Prepper's Survival Blueprint so you never miss another lost history breakthrough. Stay warm, stay ready, and keep learning from the ancients.